When it comes to hair growth and treatment, essential oils are one of the best treatments you can give to your hair. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys how to prepare an essential oil which you can use on your hair as a scalp massage, pre-pull and a hot oil treatment. And please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel at this point, please just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel and join this amazing family. And also remember to turn the notification bell on so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Hey lovelies, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're stopping by for the very first time, welcome. Yeah, my name is Udefe Vitishiwendo and I welcome you to my channel. Here on this channel, I post everything about natural hair, natural hair care, growth and treatments. I also do DIYs on hair especially. So if any of this interests you, please make sure to stay subscribed, okay? Hit that subscribe button and join this amazing family. And for my returning subscribers, you guys are the best. I appreciate you guys. I'll keep thanking you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for everything. Thank you guys for coming back today again to watch this video. So guys, today in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to prepare a lemongrass essential oil. Yeah, and we are so much of the time, let's just get to it. So lemongrass is a tall grassy plant that grows in warm and tropical climates. It is a commonly used cooking ingredient in Thai, Indian and Chinese cuisines and is often brewed as um, tea. Yeah, so as you guys can see, I'm just trying to use my scissors to cut the lemongrass into small bits you can actually get this around you i think if you're in africa you can get this almost every family okay i wouldn't say almost every family but you can get this actually in your neighborhood okay or better still you can actually get it in the market as well in a herbal shop so as you guys can see i am just trying to cut the lemongrass into small bits using my scissors it is very very strong your knife can be able to handle this so you need the scissors to cut this lemongrass so i'm using more like 12 um 12 strands or 12 sticks or two yeah 12, 12 leaves of my lemongrass for my oil so after that after cutting that i just went and i had to wash it with a clean water lemongrass is packed with vitamins a and c and it helps to keep the hair and skin glossy to add to this it also has powerful astringent properties which help to minimize pores for flawless skin as well as keep oil levels balanced the antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties in lemongrass essential oil may help to significantly remove or reduce the symptoms of dandruff and other scalp conditions it is also a popular ingredient in shampoo and other hair products to help combat excessively oil hair and scalp and it also helps in adding a healthy luster and shine to your hair. So the white substance I added to the um, lemongrass that I am washing is salt just to remove the impurities I just went on ahead to add a little bit of my salt please it shouldn't be much as you guys can see I added just a little bit so I just washed it the last time I removed it from the water and then I'm going to be using my mortar and pesto to pound this okay I don't know about blender if you can use your blender do that but I just wanted to try this method I just wanted to use my mortar to pound this so I am going to be using that okay so because lemongrass is a rich source of iron, it helps in treating conditions such as anemia or other iron deficiencies which can lead to hair, hair loss. Therefore, lemongrass strengthens hair follicles which helps in fighting against hair loss. So our body produces an oily was called sebum and it protects our skin. However, it blocks the pores of your scalp, thereby reducing the blood supply to your hair. Due to the lack of blood supply, the problem of hair fall rises. Using lemongrass essential oil will keep your scalp clean by controlling sebum. As a result of this, your body would be in a perfect position for growing healthier and shinier hair. Okay, so lemongrass also cleanses the scalp. So the reason why I'm pounding my lemongrass, as you guys can see, is just to um, make my infusing process faster okay you can actually use it that way but i don't think um the infusing method will be faster and i don't think the the lemongrass will actually infuse everything like remove everything you need into your oil so that is why i am advising that you should pound your lemongrass or blend it if that's possible for you or grind it 
so basically just do anyone that works for you okay so the next process after that was just to add it to my transparent glass plate as you guys can see and then i'm going to be um boiling the water in a pot or in a frying pan and as you guys can see i'm using a pan because i want something that is a bit wide so i can be able to do what i want to do here okay so then i put the the plate the transparent plate into the water that is already warm and you guys should remember this please make sure your 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 fire is very very low and then i went on ahead to add my curry oil i am using extra virgin olive oil you can actually use any particular curry oil of your choice you can use palm kernel oil you can use almond oil yoyoba oil any particular curry oil of your choice but well, i am using extra virgin olive oil okay so i poured in enough oil not much just enough for my lemongrass um essential oil okay so after that i'm just going to start stirring this and please make sure you're staying close to your oil and to be on the safer side don't do this more than um don't you do this double boiling method it is called double boiling method okay don't do it more than 20 minutes I actually set time for this and after 20 minutes I just turned off the the fire and removed it from the fire okay so be sure to stay close to your oil so stirring the oil time after time is actually going to help your infusing method okay I'm using the double boiling method which is the method I prefer so after 20 minutes you guys can see this is how it actually looks right now so the lemongrass is no longer greenish in color as you guys can see so yeah that's basically all for the double boiling method and again the much more reason why you should stay close to your um fire to your lemongrass oil is so your water the water you're using for the double boiling method so it doesn't dry off so each time it gets dry off you can actually add an, uh, another water bowl to be on the safer side before um putting your your transparent glass plates make sure there's enough oil that there's a there's going to be able to boil for 20 minutes without drying off okay so after this point at, at this point i'm just going to remove it from the fire and allow it to cool for some time like cool totally so i can be able to um extract my lemongrass essential oil so i left it for like 15 minutes because i went out i was i got busy with something so when i came back this is the color right now and it is very very cold right now so i can be able to press it i can be able to touch the oil and i can be able to sieve out my essential oil so i just went on ahead to use my wick cap as you guys can see to just extract my oil so if your hair is unhealthy it will look dull and using lemongrass essential oil will help revive it it can also help in reducing the itching caused by ingrown hair you can apply lemongrass essential oil to prevent inflammation caused by ingrown hair you can just apply it after shaving if you are a guy like after your facial shaves okay so this lemongrass essential oil is often used in aromatherapy and um, it is used because of its many health benefits. In aromatherapy, lemongrass essential oil can be used to reduce inflammation, relieve headaches, and ease indigestion. Inhaling the scent of the oil or the water tea or the water like the water extract or the tea. Yeah, it is called lemongrass tea or lemongrass extract. Yeah, and also mixing it into carrier oils, body oil, and um, hair, hair oil or hair cream and skin products as well is said to offer a variety of benefits so the next process was just pouring my lemongrass oil into my applicator bottle so if your lemongrass oil is quite big if you produce a lot of it and you're sure to use it for a long period of time please make sure to add a preservative to it but as you guys can see mine is a little and i'm not going to use this for a long period of time so i didn't add any preservative to it one of the main components of lemongrass essential oil is called citrol, a compound found to act as an antimicrobial and this um, compound destroys or suppresses the growth of microorganisms including bacteria and fungi. The lemongrass essential oil also contains limonin, a compound scientifically shown to reduce inflammation and kill bacteria. So guys, at this point, our lemongrass oil essential oil is actually ready for use you can use this like i said before you can use it um as a scalp massage 
purple or a hot oil treatment basically anything you want to use it with okay so in my other video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to use how i normally use this lemongrass essential oil on my hair so make sure you subscribe to my channel to see it and again turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified each time i upload a new video thank you guys so so much for watching this video i appreciate it I thank you guys I thank you guys and i thank you guys okay i love you guys and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye